Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm doing the next episode of my How to Style series, and today's video is all about how to style at leisure. So at leisure is one of the biggest styles to wear, and it is one that I quite love a lot. I, I wear it on the regular. If you guys are unfamiliar with athleisure, basically it's taking all of your sporty, athletic, and workout attire and wearing it beyond the gym. So taking those pieces and incorporating it into your everyday wardrobe and mixing it with pieces that are not sporty, athletic, or workout attire, wearing them out into real life. Something super exciting about today's video is that it's actually sponsored by Finish Line and Adidas, and I'm so, so jazzed to be working with you guys. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. So many of the pieces in today's video, all of the athletic attire, is from Finish Line and Adidas, so if you want to check out any of those pieces, as well as the other pieces that I share in today's video, everything will be linked below down in the description box, so make sure to check that out. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And with that, let's get right on into it. Bike shorts are one of the most popular pieces to wear right now, and they are a personal favorite of mine. One of the easiest go-to ways that I love to wear bike shorts is with a super rad oversized graphic tee. I love a good old band tee paired with bike shorts. I think it's such a fun combination. If you guys know my friend Carrie Dayton, this is like her go-to look, and it's seriously so fab. The bike shorts I'm wearing here are in the classic Adidas style of black with the three white stripes on the side. This pair is so incredibly comfortable, fit pretty high-waisted are not at all see-through which is just the most essential best thing ever and they don't ride up or bunch so overall this is such a great pair of bike shorts that I would highly recommend to anybody who's interested in the bike shorts trend as they are not only cute but practical and functional as well then for shoes my go-to in life is always a white sneaker but to keep the sporty vibe going I'm wearing a pair of adidas swift running shoes and I have to say I am obsessed. For a cozier, cooler weather look, bike shorts paired with a sweatshirt also looks perfect. And also, just as a little FYI, I never attended the College of Western Kentucky. I've never even actually been to Kentucky. I just love college sweatshirts because they're so soft and snuggly. And I actually thrifted the sweatshirt from Savers for like $5. You guys know I am a major fan of basics and styling basics in fun ways, so another way I like to wear the bike short style is with a basic tee and a denim jacket. Because all of the colors are very neutral and simple, I like to add a subtle pop of color through my shoes. I swapped into a pair of light pink sneakers to bring a little spice to this more basics based outfit. And of course you can always go full send with the athleisure look with one of your favorite workout tops. I swapped into this super rad retro looking pair of bike shorts and a complimentary white tank top. I love the vibes this outfit has, it makes me feel so confident and stylish. Moving into styling workout tops, I think most if not all workout tops look so gorgeous paired with your favorite pair of jeans. My personal preference lies with mom jeans as I think it just adds the perfect hint of retro vibe to any outfit. I've added a more stylized touch to this outfit by doing a little French tuck, I think Tan France would be proud, and adding on my signature brown braided belt. Another type of bottoms that also look great with this tank is a pair of cargo pants. Cargo pants have been one of my wardrobe staples this year, as they always add a touch of cool girl style to any outfit. Again, here's another example of a workout tee paired with mom jeans, looking so gosh darn adorable. I'm wearing this very cute pink ringer style tee, and I have to say, I think this looks so beautiful. Not only do I love the colors together, I also love the fit, and again, I love the 90s feel to this look. Paperback shorts also complement very nicely with your favorite workout tee. I changed into this lovely Adidas t-shirt and styled it with belted white paperback shorts. This shade of purple is one of the biggest trends for fall and winter 2019, and I love the look of this shade because it really just pops against the skin. And the last way I like to style up a simple workout tee is with a pair of black joggers. Black joggers are such a perfect thing to have on hand because they pair so well with a plethora of pieces. I love the sporty vibe of this outfit, and I think this is totally something I would have worn back in high school or college to have one of those comfortable days where you still want to look good, but you want to feel comfortable, put no effort in, but just overall still look stylish. Now for the final section of this video, we're winding things down by styling the joggers from the last outfit. For a very effortless, easy outfit, you can pair your joggers with a simple cami or tank top. 
I decided to go with a cami and a crop style to have a little skin break between the bottom hem of the shirt and my joggers to give my silhouette the appearance of a little height as well as bring a little feminine flair to this outfit. And of course, you can always go for a basic white tee if you want to wear something a little more conservative. The last way I love to style joggers is to take the previous outfit and just add a cropped denim jacket to complete the look. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you guys know how much I love to add a third piece to an outfit, and this one is no exception. I love how the denim jacket ties this outfit together so effortlessly and just levels up this look immensely. And similar to earlier when I was wearing the all wardrobe basic shades, you know, black, white, and denim, I changed back into that pair of light pink sneakers to bring a little flair and complete this look. And that is a wrap on today's video. So I really hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys like the pieces and all of the styles that I created to give you guys some inspo. I hope you guys got some ideas on how to style athleisure and how to wear workout clothes, athletic attire, sporty attire, be on the gym and work them into your everyday and normal wardrobe. I think my favorite outfit from today's video were just any of the ones with the bike shorts just because I really, really like that style. It's really funny because back when bike shorts first came out, I was like, mm, I don't think I'll ever wear those. And now I really like them I tried them and I realized how comfortable and wearable and just great they are so I am a huge advocate of the bike shorts but I would love to know what your favorite outfit from today's video was so share that down below in the comment section if you guys have any requests for any future how to style series videos make sure to share those in the comment section so I can check them out and get some ideas from you guys I have one planned for like hoodies and sweaters because so many of you guys were asking for that in I think my fall trends video I don't know a recent video you guys were like we want to see this so I got you guys I'm coming at you with that. Again, a huge thank you to Adidas and Finish Line for sponsoring today's video. Seriously, so excited to work with you guys. This was such a cool opportunity. Thank you, thank you. And if you guys wanna check out any of the pieces I shared in today's video, those will all be linked below for your easy shopping needs. And the last thing is we have our quote of the day segment. And today's quote is actually kind of like a guideline I try to incorporate into my everyday life. And it says, be brave enough to be bad at something new. I think that is so, so important to like just be aware of and do because so often people are afraid to try something new because they don't want to be bad at it. People are so afraid of failing and failure that they don't want to try it in the first place. But you guys just have to realize everybody's bad at something when they first start. I'm bad at a lot of things, even if I've been doing it for a long time. But you can never get better at something and improve your skills and like level up if you don't try, if you don't practice, try something new and be brave that you're gonna be bad and it's gonna happen. Or who knows, maybe you'll just be one of those people who's just good at things. So I am challenging you guys this week to go out there, try something new and be brave that you might just be bad at something, but stick with it because practice and doing it over and over again and you know, just sticking with it is gonna help you get better and it's gonna help you grow and improve. That is my challenge for you guys this week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you have the most amazing rest of your day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.